Hi, this is Coach Nate with AdestroyTheBaseball.com video newsletter. The topic of today's newsletter is people's opinion of your coaching is an invisible target. Well, I, I want to say I, I put a lot of videos out there and had my share of success. Everybody out there who's coached for a great many years has probably had their share of success too, but I am far from perfect. And I get negative emails all the time from parents uh, about what I'm doing with my coaching. And the key is, from a coaching standpoint, is knowing who to listen to and who not to listen to. And knowing what is of value that is being said and what is of no value. Because there often is value in what might be perceived as just off-the-handle criticism. So. We're going to go through that today in the context of an email from a parent. But first I have a quote. Never assume you know everything about baseball. The fact is, in every aspect of the game, there are always new ways to go about things. Yesterday's great idea can be tomorrow's bad one. When you have criticism come from people outside your team's players, you have to be great at the art of picking the valuable and forgetting the rest. And forget it you must. Take your emotions out of the message of criticism. Listen intently, get the information clear, then leave it for a, for a few hours as you go on with your day. Then sit down after you simmer down a bit and look at the criticism again closely. The biggest thing you want to avoid is taking any of it personally. The close second thing you must avoid is making any decisions regarding your coaching your team that is meant to gain someone's approval. Approval is a moving target and it takes you away from your focus. That focus should be how do I give my players the best tools and information at all times so that they, they can create their goals as quickly as possible. Stay totally focused on that mission. Now the email from the parent. Coach Nate, I look at other teams and see how you do things. I have questions. You don't steal near as much as most teams. It seems like it works every time when I see them do it. I notice you keep using the same pitchers over and over again. How are you going to help the other kids develop if they never get a chance? You seem to give the bunt sign a lot as well. I know my son gets the bunt sign a lot. He's a good hitter if he actually gets the chance to swing. I don't want to be one of those parents. That is a canned response that you get in many cases from parents. Uh, and I know they don't. And I, don't, I guess I don't even really know what those parents are. They're just parents caring deeply about their kids. And that's how I take it. That's how you should take it. Well, first of all, with my response, I didn't say anything or return any emails or anything for 12 hours. I stepped away, I forgot about it, came back to it after I'd simmered down from initially seeing it, after I'd gotten away from the game a little bit. And here's the deal, and I believe this to be true, I have to be completely congruent with the mindset that I ask of my players. And that is, I expect them to be coachable. I must be coachable too. So within this email, there's three different items that the parent wants to talk about. One was using the same pictures over and over again rather than development. And to that, I always say that the games themselves, it's nice to get the experience because they do help develop. But for practices and preparation are for development. Games are for the team result. And I believe that to be true. And that's why I run the practices and the type of practices that I do. But the yeah, item of stealing more and bunting less, absolutely, I'll take a look at that. Uh, might be an idea worth exploring. What fact is, as a coach, I get going into the season and I get caught in my habits and the thing moves so fast that I don't have a chance to really sit back and, in many cases, re-examine things like I want. And I can miss very obvious things. The key, the key aspect of it is, is that I can't get anything out of this if I take it all personally. And I will not, under any circumstances, ever allow myself to 
make changes to gain the approval of someone who's bringing criticism to me because that again is a moving target and we don't want to be in that position we have to stay totally focused on preparing your players and giving them the best tools possible so that they can hit their best pitch their best do all the things they need to do their best and that means staying completely clear-minded remember if you found this video of value subscribe Future videos will be notified. You'll be notified of future videos when you subscribe to my channel. Share this video with anybody who you believe may get value from it. Leave comments. Anything that you believe will help us further our value of bringing young people fully alive, unleashing rock solid, relentless self confidence on the field and in life. Send me your player's video from the game of practice. I'd be happy to look at it, provide you with a video analysis and report return that report to you along with an action plan going forward and do it for free for all players worldwide all seven continents reminder this is a free community if you can donate any amount of money to the community uh, the address for that is destroythebaseball.com click on the donate button in the upper right hand corner and I look forward to seeing you soon